Hi guys, that's me, and this is just a quick video um, for a fellow YouTuber called Thanos. Um, I'll put a, a link in the description down there to his channel. He started painting Infinity Miniatures quite recently and uh, he's doing a great job of them. And uh, he just wanted to see how I was getting on with my uh, Yu Jing uh, army. So there's not much done really so far. There's a basic black undercoat. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do colour wise for these. The only thing I know at this point is that I wanted to do a black sort of base with uh, bright red armour plates which is how far I've got so far so on all of these guys we've got the black which has been dry brushed to give it a, a bit of depth and that will be the, hopefully the final colour for the uh, the under underside of them or the black parts of them anyway and then I've just added the red which sort of brings out all the all the armor plating. Um, I'm very tempted to go in there with some white and do the, the remaining armor plates to give it that a bit of contrast. Um, works quite well because it's uh, they're fairly, when you think of China, you, th you, you can think of those colors, or at least I do anyway. Sort of the red and the white at least, so the black will be sort of an under color and then obviously lots of silver bits for the non-armoured plates non-armoured plates, non-armoured non gubbins of the armour um, and I have no idea what colour I'm going to do the gun yet but uh, <laughs> because it's a more futuristic gun than the the hacker slam gun I think it deserves to actually have a colour on it as opposed to just being black uh, it sort of gives it a clean more futuristic feel and uh, of course for the bases, instead of going for just a, a basic tile as I, uh, like a slab, as you can see for these guys with a bit of rubble which sort of suggests what I was going for there is the idea that they're they're fighting in an urban environment which is modern but um, it's not as futuristic so what I've gone for with these guys which of course isn't finished yet because I've only just started painting them is a very stark white hex pattern but again it was quite difficult to achieve when you've got that metal plate the metal bar going through the base there but uh, it seems to have come out quite nicely and uh, once it's painted up it'll hopefully give them a completely different feel to the uh, Akkus Lam as you can see there and uh, they should stand out when they're on the same table and sort of give you the distinction between these guys being hyper futuristic uh, having a lot of money things are cleaner although not perfect as you can see some of the some of the hex slabs are missing so the idea there is that they're, they're hyper futuristic but uh, they're still not doing great because of the warfare and whatnot am I reading into bases uh, a bit more than I should be <laughs> I think I think I might be but uh, it's uh, it's fun to think that way. So that's it really, I hope you, uh, you liked it Thanos and I hope anybody else who's who's getting into Infinity gets a bit of insp inspiration and uh, if anyone's got any thoughts at all about colour scheme to build upon what I've done so far please let me know and I'll, uh, I'll see if I can incorporate it. Alright, stay well guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.